Hello guys, welcome to Alistair Aquatics. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this thing behind me. This is my custom made aquarium rack. Now, not everything about this rack was custom made. However, I did definitely tweak it to allow it to hold aquariums. And I think overall it's gonna look really cool once it's completely filled with aquariums. At the moment, I just have one tank on there, but I'm really excited to show you guys how I put this together and sort of bring you guys along for the journey. So let's take a closer look at how I put this rack together. Okay, so here's the aquarium rack itself. Please excuse the mess down the bottom. It's still a work in progress, but I think it's gonna look pretty cool once I get a tank on each level. So the rack itself, I live in the UK, I got it from Amazon and it's just like a black painted uh, metal rack really. Um, each shelf, I don't know if you can see underneath there, sort of have this like grill style um, sort of shelving on it. Um, and it was rated so that each shelf held about, I think it was 160 kilograms, which if I'm honest, that is a lot of weight. Um, I think the rule is roughly one liter of water is about a kilogram. Um, but yeah, maybe look into that if you're thinking of doing something like this yourself. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, how the sort of uh, fish tank volume translates to weight. But as far as I was aware, I thought it was something like a, one liter of water to a kilogram of weight. But obviously when you've got rocks and substrate in there, you're gonna have to take that into account. So I really liked the rack. Um, I thought it was the perfect sort of size. It fit in the room really well here. Um, the only issue I had obviously was, I don't wanna go putting the glass aquariums straight onto this sort of metal mesh so what i did is i headed down to my local sort of uh, shop that sort of uh, sell building materials and i bought some 18 mil plywood i had it cut to size i then trimmed off the corners uh, just sawed them off myself just so that they actually fit in because obviously with the corners it, the sort of legs of the stand get in the way i then proceeded to sand it down and I coated it in a black wood effect vinyl just to waterproof the wood. I did think about painting it, but if I'm honest, this was a cheap, quick solution. You know, I didn't, worry, I didn't have to worry about making a mess or waiting for anything to dry. It was just sorted straight away. Um, and yeah, I think the end result is pretty good. What I'll do now, guys, I've just got a bit of video footage from when I was actually putting the shelving uh, unit together. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll just show you guys that now. Okay, so here I have my panel of wood and I'm just adding the vinyl coat on top. What I'm gonna try and do is cover completely with no sort of seams the top layer um, and this just will help protect the surface of it from water. Um, I'm actually finding the best method is to just smooth it down with my hand as I go. Um, and I've got a hair dryer just in case I need to shrink the corners around the sides here. But um, I'll let you guys know how I get on. Okay guys, so I hope you found that interesting. Um, you know, if you have any tips or tricks for me, uh, let me know if you guys have set up your own aquarium racks, you know, have you done it in a similar fashion to this? Um, or did you do it in a completely different style? Let's sort of start a comment train down below because I mean, it's something that I looked into a lot and I really couldn't find much information on, apart from people using lots of two by fours and uh, just screwing lots of wood together. But if I'm honest, it just didn't have the overall finished look that I wanted. Um, and I'll be honest, I'm no sort of expert at creating leveled shelving out of wood. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I was really happy with how these shelves worked out, but in terms of actually building this whole structure out of wood, I think it would have probably been something I could have done, but I think it would have taken a lot of time, and I think I would have probably made some mistakes along the way, but needless to say, that's not necessarily a problem. Maybe that's something I'll try in the future. Just because this was in the living room, I kind of really liked this black metal sleek uh, look. Obviously, if this was made out of wood, the legs would have had to be quite a lot chunkier and things like that. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really liking this sort of wood effect I've got along the edges of the shelving. Um, and it's doing a good job, a great job so far, keeping the wood, you know, completely waterproof. Um, as for the lighting, uh, what I've done is I've just mounted it um, just on the sort of metal bars above and it's working really well for me. So um, yeah, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Um, my plan is to have an aquarium on each level. Um, I'm thinking of having at least one more saltwater aquarium, uh, definitely a planted aquarium on there and the other one I'm not sure about yet, but let me know what you guys think. All the tanks are gonna be in this sort of long fashion. Um, I know the, ta uh, the shelving unit, sorry, was rated for 160 kilograms per shelf. I definitely don't wanna push it to that limit. If anything, I wanna stay in about the 25 to 30% of that limit, just because, you know, this is, um, something that I'm gonna be sort of working on, I'm gonna be maintaining these tanks and I want it to overall be stable as well. You know, if someone accidentally knocks into it, I don't want the thing to just be very unstable. So yeah, I haven't gotten too crazy with the sort of weight limit. Um, but yeah, overall the look is pretty good, I think, and I'm happy with it. And yeah, subscribe if you guys wanna see more content about this racking system. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated with how it's doing. And of course, leave a comment and let me know what you think. All right, guys. Take care and I'll catch you in a bit soon. Just remember, no matter what's happening in your week, no matter what's going on with your aquarium, take some time, sit back, relax and enjoy it. All right, take it easy. Bye.